Life is a winding road. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another accent wall video. So y'all already know I'm way too uncomfortable to film myself talking in front of my clients or like at my client's house in general. So we're gonna do this voiceover. So I'm taking out everything that I need for this project. I'm actually gonna be transforming this 28 foot long wall that they have in their basement. I found this black paint on the clearance rack at Home Depot and it's the Bear Marquee brand and I only paid $9 for it. So I was like, oh, this is the perfect opportunity for me to use this paint because I will be painting this wall black. So basically my clients were having trouble trying to figure out what to do with this wall because it was so large and the space is kind of like on the narrow side but as soon as i seen this wall i remembered a tiktok that i had watched a couple weeks ago i'll see if i can link it in the description box for you guys i definitely took some inspiration from this to get an idea of exactly what i was going to do to this wall the main thing that i was going to focus on on day one was just painting the wall because i knew since the wall was so large it was going to take me a while it actually took me four hours to paint this whole wall so i wanted to tape everything up and i did go along the edges and caulked up the tape too so that way i can get nice crisp lines. It was at this point when I realized that this satin finish was just way too shiny for me. I could see my reflection way too clearly on the wall. So I ended up going to the hardware store and I ended up liking the color Onyx by Benjamin Moore and I got it in an eggshell finish. So now we can resume painting. So fast forward a few days, I wanted to get a head start on the shelves because I knew it was going to take me a while because there was going to be six shelves in total. So four of them are going to be decorative, but two of them, like you see here, are the bigger ones. These are going to be used as like counter space where she's going to be able to put some bar stools underneath of them. All right, you guys, I spent the last hour sanding all these boards down and my hand is numb. So I think the last thing that I'm going to do for today is I have my pre-stain here. And I'm just going to go through and just condition all of the wood and then tomorrow I'll come back and stain it.
Good morning, guys. It is session three day, so I have set up my miter saw. And here are all the slats that I'm going to be using. I did bring a couple of my equipment inside, so I'll show you. But I'm actually going to start cutting now, and I'll tell you inside what my plan is. Session number two is me actually coming in and doing a mock-up with a painter's tape, but I'm not going to follow it to a T because I realized that I needed to push everything over two inches, but you'll see that as I pull the tape off. Okay, so it took a minute, but I finally found the exact length that I wanted all of like the vertical ones to be. So once I found that, I took that one sample and I just copied it and like drew it onto the other ones. So now I can just put them up until I get to the next section. It's just going to be cutting the same thing over and over again. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. So I ended up having to change my design a little bit because the guy who came in to do the electrical, he put that outlet like really, really high up. So I ended up changing the design for like the middle section, which I ended up liking this a lot more because the TV is going to be going up higher and now they have room to put a sound bar, which I think is going to work out perfectly for them. And I feel like it gave it a little bit more dimension as well. So after I put that one board up, I decided to start caulking and filling in all of the holes because I still had one more section left. I wanted the caulk and everything to dry before I finished the final panels so that way I can actually paint on the same day as well and I was determined not to leave until I got most of it done you know the drama is never ending don't let it get the best of you and all the fake friends just keep pretending that's how the little things get huge paralyzed in every bar oh, you feel it taking over you to the center of your core oh, the lies are getting overused saying much but I got the first coat of paint on here I'm gonna let that dry while that's drying I'm gonna start putting the brackets on this wall so these heavier duty brackets are gonna be the one at the bottom so these are gonna be like a counter bar counter almost that so she could put like bar stools on there but they can also serve as counter space when she has get-togethers and then I have two smaller versions of this that are gonna go up there and those are more for like decorative so I'm gonna do that and then wait for this to dry and then I'll do the second coat So 
it's been a couple of days so i had to take some time to recover because i was there for a seven hour straight just non-stop going up and down up and down i really tried so hard to finish on saturday but one i wasn't and the shelves weren't completely ready so i knew it wasn't going to be 100 percent done but i wanted to get as close as to be done so that way when i go back with the shelves all i have to do is just put them up but anyways so i just needed a few days to let my body recuperate from that so we are now on to the shelves so this is the stain that i'm going to be using it's a stain and poly um in the satin finish and my client wanted the color classic oak really excited i don't think i've ever used this color and this is my first time using water based water based does not have as an intense of smell like oil based ones all the boards have been preconditioned dried they've had plenty of time to cure so now it's time to put the stain on them and then hopefully i'm really really hoping that i can get these shelves in within the next couple of days either later on today or tomorrow my next session should only be an hour long The stain didn't change the color at all of the wood. I think it actually just enhanced the natural color of this piece of wood. I don't know why I thought it was actually going to change the color because the name of the color is Classic Oak. <laughs> Alright, I finished staining them. So I have them here for now, but I gotta move them into the garage. I am going to do a second coat on the top layer since the top layers are the ones that's going to get touched the most, especially these bigger ones. But we're going over today at 6pm and then we're going to finish the wall. Just gotta make sure that they are symmetrical and they're the exact same spot on the wall but if you like these i'll have them linked in the description box found them on amazon and they were really really affordable and they're super cute mm -hmm. 